Can I be asked to answer 14 part C from um, June 2017? Now, in this question here, um, really, A and B are kind of like important for us to know how to do as well. So um, I'm going to do the whole question, okay, because you need to know A and B to do C. So let's just start with A and B. So they've given us a sketch of a circle, C1. The points A14 and B78 lie on C1. Given that AB is the diameter of the circle C1, find the coordinates of the center of C. So let's just, you know, just estimate 1, 4, say, and 7, 8. Say it's over there somewhere. I'm not sure exactly, just making a sketch. We join those together. Okay, so that would be a um, possible position of A and B. The sketch. Okay, they lie on C1 means they lie on the circumference of C1. That's what it means. And AB is the diameter of the circle. Okay, so we know that that is the, definitely the diameter, so it passes through the center of the circle. Okay, so we want to calculate A, the coordinates for the center of C. Well, the center of the circle C will be the center of the diameter. Okay, so it will be the midpoint of AB. Okay, that's a straight line there. So basically what they're asking us to find is the midpoint of AB. Okay, which is going to be the average of the x coordinates of a and b. So it's going to be 1 plus 7 divided by 2. And the average of the y coordinates of a and b, which is 4 plus 8 divided by 2. Okay, so that's going to give us 8 divided by 2, which is 4. And 12 divided by 2, which is 6. Okay, so th those are the coordinates for the center of the circle C. So the center of the circle is going to be... Coordinates 4, 6. Okay, this was 1, 4. And this was 7, 8. Okay? That's exactly halfway between A and B. Then it says the exact value of C1, the uh, exact radius of C1, simplifying your answer. So the radius is going to be uh, the distance between the center and A or, or center B. Okay? Is, uh, the difference between the center and B. Okay, now, just in case we made a mistake in the first part, what I would suggest you do is find the distance between A and B and divide it by 2. Because uh, supposing you made a, f a mistake with finding the midpoint, yeah, then your next answer will also be wrong. Okay, But you already have A and B. You have already have the diameter. So we know the radius is half the diameter. So I would suggest we find a half of, the radius is a half of the distance between A and B. I would suggest that that would be a better option in this particular case. So the distance between A and B is going to be the change in the x, which is going to be 7 minus 1 squared, using Pythagoras' theorem, plus the change in the y, the change in the y, which is going to be 8 minus 4 all squared. Okay, 8 minus 4 squared. So it's going to give you a half times the square root of you have 7 minus 1, which is 6 squared, which is 36, plus 8 minus 4, which is 4. 4 squared is 16. Okay, so you're going to have a half times the square root of 36 plus 16, that's 46, that's 52. Okay, and it says, find the exact radius of C1, simplifying your answer. Okay, so it says exact radius, so of course you're going to have third in your answer. So... We could just confirm that we got the right answer. I mean, we can confirm and that the simplified third is going to be correct. We just do a half times. We're going to multiply by the square root of 52, and that will give us a simplified third answer, which is the square root of 13. Okay, because four times, yeah. I mean, because you got... F 4 times 13 is 52, right? So that's a perfect square. So a half times root 4, which is 2, times root 13. Okay. So that's the radius of this circle. Okay. Half of the diameter. Okay. You should get the same answer if you just find the distance between these two points or those two points. But as I said, in case you got part A wrong, you don't want to lose any marks for your answer mark in part B. Okay. So that's um, part A and B done. I'm then now going to go into part C. The next video.